Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing palindromes and anagrams. Um, it's just a short fun project you can do as well. It's another introductory one, but it also gives you the uses um, when you code it to uh, help you learn it better. Um, palindromes are words that are the same backwards, like race car is the same backwards uh, if you type it out. And anagrams are words that are the same, but spelled differently. Uh, are written in a different uh, letter order, like garden and danger. They are anagrams. They use the same letters and they are the same length too. Um, so we're just going to write a function to get a palindrome or to see if something is a palindrome, like race car. So it'll check if the string backwards is the same as the string forwards, and then it will tell us if it's a palindrome. And then for the anagram, it's going to check if the um, string has the same letters um, and if it's equal to one another, then it's an anagram. Like God and dog are anagrams, garden and danger are anagrams, and so forth. So let's get started. So let's do the palindromes first. Let's go make a function called def is palindrome. And then we have to put our parameter for the string. Cool. And now to get a string backwards, all you have to do is this. Return string, square brackets, uh, double colons, and minus one. That uh, writes out the string backwards. And then we're going to say if it's equal to string. Cool, there's our function already done. Now we're going to get our input, so word equals input. You can name this, uh, whatever, this variable, whatever you want. I'm just making it word to keep it simple. And then we can say enter a word to check if it's an anagram I mean sorry palindrome getting confused there palindrome cool palindromes are also actually used in uh, DNA sequences um, you should uh, google that it's pretty interesting uh, but let's continue and then we're gonna go if is palindrome and then word then we're going to print uh, is a palindrome full stop dot format and then word and then we're going to do our else so if it's not then it's going to say is not a palindrome and then dot format word. Let's test it out. So race car is a very easy example. Race car. So race car backwards is race car. You can see there it's the same word backwards. Let's check race car is a palindrome, and then let's just check if it. Uh, let's do um, dog. Dog backwards is God, but it's not the same thing. Because dog and god are two different things. Dog is not a palindrome. Okay, cool. Okay, now we've done the palindrome function. Let's do the anagram. So let's just put that out. Okay, for the anagram, there's two ways we can do this function. So let's go for the first one is anagram. Okay, cool. And then we're going to say, we're going to create two variables, string one. You can call this whatever you want. String one is equal to input. Enter the first word, and then string two. Same thing. Enter the second word. Cool, and now we're gonna check if they are equal. So we're gonna say if sorted and then string one is equal to sorted. I'll explain what sorted does now. String two, then we're gonna print Anagrams um, dot format and then string one. 
string to you. The sorted uh, function basically takes the letters from the string and arranges them in alphabetical order. And so we're basically breaking down the string, arranging them in alphabetical order to see if the letters that are in the word are the same to each other. And then we're going to go else print and then mm and here are not anagrams and then dot format again string one and string two cool now we just need to call this function so let's go yeah is anagram okay let's check it out it's giving a warning there because it needs to be two lines between functions and other code so the first word let's go danger and then garden these words are anagrams that have the same letters and they are the same length so let's check danger and garden are anagrams okay cool and let's try another one let's try garden dog dog and god let's make sure it is not just saying everything is the same let's go car and book car and book are not anagrams okay cool now the other way you could do this anagram function is like this let's go is underscore anagram one okay cool now here we're gonna define parameters x and y and then we're gonna go if sorted x is equal to sorted y uh, there you can just take this here this part copy we just gotta replace this with x y x y and then you can go x equals input and then we can say uh, enter word one and then y can be enter word two And then we just call it your yeah, anagram one x y. Let's just take this away. Copy it out. Okay, let's test it out quickly. Into word one, let's say dog god. Don got our anagrams. Okay, hey, cool. And if you want to see how exactly it works, I'll show you quickly. Let's just debug it so we can go through the steps. Debug. Okay, so let's step over. Enter word one. Okay, now we're gonna go to our console. Let's enter word one. Dog. It's gonna ask us to enter word two. Uh, God. Okay, cool. Now if we go to the debugger, we have defined x and y. X is dog. We entered it here. Y is God. We step over. It's gonna check by our function dog and god now it's going to go to the next step if they are equal yes they are it's going to jump back as print it's going to jump and print our message yeah um debugging is also you should also learn how to do debugging because it's a perfect way to find out problems in your code and also just to understand how your code works um it's very useful but yeah thank you for watching